too. Bring it to the folks. Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Dre is at the door. Ready to make an entrance, so back on up. Yo, what's up? This is Humidor Shop Talk Podcast, man. We back at y'all with another week of fun, man. We in here talking sports. We got our sticks. We got that drink. This is how we doing it. We're going to come yes, at you with the, the latest, the hottest, and we about to basically talk some shit with y'all, man. I got my man to my left, man. Lucky Lefty. Say what's up to the people, man. What up, my people? You already know it's Lucky Lefty. Smoking the sign of 13. Sipping on a little crown. Doing what I do. Holla. KDL 33. What 33. Up, what up, though? CAM What's up? What's up? We are at the Roman Castle, man, as we are every week, man. Shooting the show, bringing you the hottest and the latest, man. But backstage, sitting off to the, to the, to the back, we got my man, Big Ridge in the house. Say what's up to the people, man. What up? Yeah, yeah. What up, though? We also got the man that keeps it rolling, keeps the lights on at the Roman Castle, the Big Rome. Say what's up to the people, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check it out, man. Hottest, latest, NCAA. Final four is set. We got Loyola versus the Michigan Wolverines. On the second, on the other side, we got Kansas versus Nova. Two number ones battling for the chip. So, taking it from there, KDL, what you got, man? On one side of the bracket, I got Loyola versus Michigan. I got Loyola getting to the championship game. Listen, both teams shoot threes. Whoever does not turn the ball over wins the game. Watch the game. Whoever does not turn the ball over wins the game. But I got Loyola, man. Cinderella. Hey, man, I just think it's take time, man. They just rolling. I, it, I like Michigan, don't get me wrong. But I think Loyola's going to win this game. On the other side of the bracket, Villanova and Kansas. I'm sentimental to Kansas. I was out there five years. Everybody who know me know that. I'm a little sentimental. But I got Villanova. I picked Villanova from the jump. I think they're the most complete team. And I think Villanova's going to win the game. That's another turnover game, too. Whoever don't turn the game over, whoever don't turn the ball over, really will win. They're two number ones. You can't go wrong either way. But I got Villanova versus Loyola. That's your championship. All right, Lefty. Uh, one side of the bracket, I take uh, my hearts with Loyola for sure, man. Shot town all day. Uh, but I'm going to roll with Michigan. Uh, they, I mean, since the Big Ten tournament, man, they, they didn't put away Michigan State. They didn't put away some real good teams. Not saying Loyola hasn't. But uh, Michigan, the they shooting that ball, man. They scoring at a crazy rate. Uh, they playing with confidence, so I think they're going to pull it out. The other side, like KDL, man, I've been rolling Villanova. That's why I pick with the tournament. I always go with, with guard led teams. Jalen Brunson is balling. He's been there before. I got Villanova versus Michigan Monday night. All right, Reg, what you yeah. got? I'm going to keep it shy. Shy all day. Loyola, Villanova. Brunson repping the shot. Obviously, you know, Loyola shot, so this me in the make. Why not? Cinderella. All right, check it out. I'm rolling with the number ones first. Let's talk about them. Number one, that is going to be two battles of heavyweights. They're the only number ones that made it to the final four. They are going to have a knockdown battle. And like, yeah. like, like my partner said, it's all about the turnovers, but it's whoever gets hot in that game. Whoever gets hot in that game will win, but I think Nova will win. Now let's go over to the, the underdog side. Yes, I say they are the underdogs, so check it out. I'm going with Sister Jean. What's up, Sister Jean? Shout out to B said, Sister what's Jean. up? So I'm going, I'm going with them. Plus, I don't like the fact that Father Ben is now coming out the woodwork. But Sister Jean been there from day one. She's been sitting on the side. She's been cheering, making comments. Matter of fact, she was even bold enough to say, Y'all was gonna lose in the second round, but right. see where he at uh, now. Did he, just, Jalen though? did he just toast crown to a nun? <laughs> yeah, he did. Shout out to what hey. the fuck was that? Bro? Shout out to communion. Sister, shout out to Sister Jane. That ain't communion. This is communion. Hey, right, go, go, you going to hell? We shout all going to hell. Going to hell. Now, I'm gonna go <laughs> bold and I'm gonna say it is Loyola this year, man. They are. Wait, 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 now, at, we talked back, backstage. Now, all of these coaches, players, are going they, they the rest of the season, they go into the they go into the league. So now you got all these players that have announced. You got Sex, you got Carter, oh, you got Bagley, you got Trey Young, you got all of these players that are going to the next, the next level. Out of all these players, which one do you think has the 
best chance to actually be a star in the league? Uh, who are you going with? Who are you going first? Y'all want me to mess y'all up? Be a kid. Y'all want me to mess y'all up? We'll jump out there first. Okay. Y'all want me to mess y'all up? Okay, go on, Cam. Y'all want me to mess y'all up? Wendell Carter from Duke. I know everybody thought I was going to say Bagley. Bagley is going to Bagley's going to be good. But Wendell Carter is one of them guys, when he gets in the league and he's able to play NBA basketball, he doesn't have Bagley like on his side. The boy got skills, man. That boy can score on their post. That boy can step out and shoot. That boy can block shots. He's athletic and he runs the floor. That's his, that's this year's NBA. Like he this, actually this has time. post moves. Yeah, yes, he, he does. He has big boy moves. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Wendell Carter, out of all these guys. Now I like Sexton too. I think Sexton is going to be good in the league. I, I really do. And and obviously it's like Bagley or you know, Trey Young. Trey Young is going to take a minute to make it in the league. Trust me on this. Uh, don't put all your what's money. Again? Put all your. Put, what's that? Jimmer 2.0. <laughs> Jimmer is the NBA China guy. Three years. So all these NBA, guys. One day I'll be a Chinese last year. Who, got. What, what, who you going with? I'm going with? I'm going with the big boy Aiden from Arizona, man. I like him. I mean, I like, like he already got the NBA body. I mean, smooth feet. He kind of reminds me of MB without the bad back. The boy is serious, man. I've been talking about him all year. The boy is dominant. And, you know, in college, they were able to zone up against him. I don't see nobody stopping that dude one on one. Big Reg. You know, I'm going to go with Bagley. Bagley KD part two. Now he's 6'11, can step out, shoot it. Real smooth, low key. He's sick, though. Bagley he just got to play some D. He cold. He ain't sick. I, I see him being a good pro because spacing in the NBA is better yeah. than college. Exactly. So he'll be able to get off. Can't play that zone. 100. For me, out of all the players, the Bagley, the Sexlins, the, the Aiden, you know, Carter, and they throw Trey Young out there. Me, Trey Young's not ready. Everybody else, for me, it's about where they land. That's true. Where they land is going to depict That's on true. their growth and how, how they shoot. Wherever Bagley go, he going to be that man. Fit is huge. So, for me, it's bad. Because I'm like Reg. He is like a throwback to uh, KG. Can I ask y'all this, though? Well, I'll say, let me say this. Cleveland will end up with one of those big boys. I'm telling you. And if LeBron decides to stay, whichever one of them big boys stay with LeBron, can you imagine Bagley with LeBron and Cleveland with Love shooting a three or eight and a one of them? Yeah, That's it's, it's nasty. Gonna be crazy. That's it's it. It's going to be crazy. Hey, hey y'all you know, I was watching the tournament, man, and, and everybody don't like this cat. I don't necessarily like him either. But I think Grayson Allen is going to be a better pro than he was. I'm a player. Point. Yeah. Because, Good point. like my man Red say, the NBA spacing is different. And he, boy got skills. Boy got skills. He, he does have skills. I'm just telling you. And when he gets, he's a guard. And when he gets the spacing in the NBA. I, I think so, too. He can already shoot. Seriously. He I, can I actually think, take you off the dribble. I've always been saying Allen going to be a good pro. You know what I mean? He, he'll, be a, he'll be a good pro, man. I don't like the cat. All right, man. I got to call, I got to call BS. I'm just telling you, man. That somebody going to hit him in his jaw when he yeah. tries to deep shit. But I'm just trying to, when he tries to dirty shit. But I'm just trying to tell you. Back up point. Skill wise. Back you heard it here first. Skill wise. Skill I give him one and a half, maybe two years in the league, and he back on Duke's bench as one of the assistant coaches. Nah, nah he'll play longer. Than nah, than nah. Than the rest nah. Of the I'll tell you. Look, okay. look, look, look. Oh, Joe. Look, look. look. When, when, when it comes to Allen, this is what I say the difference. This is what I say the difference. Allen got a little size on him, and he's athletic. Yes. And he's a shooter. Yes. But, you know, you had Hurley and all them. Yeah. They weren't athletic. Yeah. They had a size. Allen has the size. Yeah. And he's That's a lot more athletic than people yeah. give him credit for. And that that He's going to be all right in the pros, man. And, and, and on that bench, he's going to be all right in the pros. He's better than fucking Wojo. Hey, oh, man, he's going to be out this year. Two years, like, and he's going to have a 30-30, and it's going to be, I hate he, he, Grayson he, Allen 2.0. He can get he can, he can, a 30-30. He's going to get a 30 30. He ain't like Rose. He's going to get out of the sun. He's going to get a 30 30. Plus, he's 27. Have, have you looked at the cast that's on Duke? You're talking about your Shires. You're talking about your Rojos. Yeah. You're talking about your. Uh, no, he's athletic like enough he's to play in the league. He's, a, he's so, athletic. He'll, 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 he'll stay. Allen's going to be okay. Like you said, fit. It's all about fit. It's all about fit, man. But he's going to go to the, the wrong team, and it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Okay. Now we're talking about. These high school players, the McDonald's All American, we watched that tonight. Now, you got the Zion, you got the Barrett's, and, you know, Duke has one, two, and three. Now, I pose this question to you all. Former players, man, do you go to 
a, a program that got all these players, or do you branch out on your own and go to like a Mississippi State, go to Nova, go to some of these uh, Butler, you go there and you make your own? Or do you follow what everybody else does and get you an AAU team and be throwing the hoops and all that stuff? What do you see yourself doing if you you were in the position of these players? I'm going with the hundred thousand dollars. Whoever well, coming off that bag <laughs> is where I'm going. Now this bullshit. But uh, seriously, uh, I think I you know it's, it's hard to say because you could you can go somewhere and try to get off and be the man, or you can go to one of these major schools that's gonna get you to the NBA a lot quicker. Uh, I think that's the thought process. Like getting to the NBA from say a Butler or a smaller school is a lot harder. Than getting there from a Kentucky or Duke because we've sure. seen their bench players get drafted in, in the top ten in NBA. McGetty, uh, Marvin Williamson in Carolina. Y'all remember back then? We've yeah. seen people off the bench get drafted yeah. like in the top ten. So I, it's you kind of you got to weigh it out. I, I think it's it's a tough call. It's yeah, easy yeah, to say you wouldn't, but it's a tough call. I'm gonna go somewhere. I'm not gonna go to Duke, and I'm not gonna go to North Carolina or Kentucky, right? But I'll go to a Louisville. I'll go to possibly Kansas. I'll go to one of the top schools where I know I can play. You gotta wait. You gotta. You gotta first of all look at the squad and see who the seniors are and see when you who plays your position and who's on their way out and who's gonna. Because you gotta play. If you're if you're a talent and you're noted as an NBA future NBA player, then they're gonna draft you. So it doesn't matter if you go to Duke or whatever. But I'll go right up right a step under Duke. And I'll go to a Louisville, and I'll go to a place like that where, where I can play or whatever. I don't need to go to a school that has three, four other McDonald's All-Americans. Like, I, I, I don't need to do that. And I don't want to go to a school where they're flushing them in and out every year. I, I really don't want to do that. If I choose to stay another year. If I'm good enough to play one year, then I'm going to do it. But I, I'll go to a step under. I wouldn't go to, like, Xavier or Cincinnati or nothing like that. They're good schools, but I'm, I'm just saying I'll, I'll go a step higher. So I'm just using like a Louisville or something like that, as opposed to like Carolina. Hey man, listen for me. You know what I mean? It's for me, step on. If I'm that dude, I'm a all of, I'm a McDonald's All American. I'm a Jordan Classic man. For me, I'm not following them. Yeah, we cool in the summers. We work out, go hard. But I'm going somewhere where I know I'm gonna be the man, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna go to the ACC, Wake Forest, Florida State. These programs that yeah. you can get to the league from these other programs, right. but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna establish it, and I'm gonna have my brand, and everybody gonna have my my face up when I walk in that gym. But the reality of it, I'm though, going, that's what, but, I'm going to reality, university. But the, the reality of it, though, is kind of the reality of it, though, how many Duke <laughs> and Kentucky players get drafted every year? Top 10, 15, man. I mean, I know it's easy to say that, but those cats, whether we think they're ready or not, all them kids from Kentucky coming out, we none of us feel like they're ready. They all going in the top fifteen. They get I promise out. you they win. They get forced out because only one of them. It don't matter. Right? They going, and, and then you're not ready for the league. So when you get to the league, you're a bust. But it's yeah. all about getting to the league first. You're a bust. You got to get to the league first, right? But you got to stay there. Right. You get there first. You can't worry about standards. You know you get there. Here's a perfect example. Rozier okay. went to Rozier okay. went to Louisville, right? Hey, my Rozier man, played. my man Riz just said the key point is the work ethic. If you don't have to work at right, it, once you get there, you gotta stay there. You gotta stay there. And a lot of them players, you think they got that dog in them, but they ain't got that dog once they get to the league, because now you're playing with me. You got you're a man play. among boys in college, but yeah. once you get to that league, now you gotta have that dog. You but gotta we have, got you gotta have that, that green vein. But what you talk but you didn't ask about staying in the league, you asked about getting to the league. Right. You talking about getting to the league, you're gonna go to the program that's gonna get you to the league. Now, since we but, brought up the league, Kev, uh, go ahead and make your last point. No, I was just going to say, the, the mother squads, you get to the league from the mother squads. It's just that your Carolinas and your Dukes are always right. right. The, the kind of teams that's right up under there, you get to the league. All right. Now, since we're talking about the league, NBA, it's almost time for the playoffs. What do we have now going to the NBA? Yeah. Nothing but injuries. Injury. Right. injury after injury after injury. Boston, they got four to five players that's injured. Yeah, you got Curry with the knee. You got Clay with the finger. You got you got uh, with the ribs. He got the ribs and all that, man. What's going on? He just got hit in the face. Love. It's a lot of players going down that are in the playoffs. So how does that change the, the face of the playoffs, man? It it it, it depends on how long they out. So yeah. for Golden situation with Golden State, uh, they saying Steph gonna miss the first round. 
Golden State should be able to get past the Steph, first round. Steph's third. But, 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 but Golden but, 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 State should be able to get past the first round. They need to be healthy when they go up against Houston. And I'll even go a step. I'll go a step further. If they run into Portland in the second round, they need to be healthy. Okay. <laughs> you yeah, got to Portland, baby. We got to see Houston. how that shakes out. Speaking of Houston, they are resting hard. They rested them last night. That's smart. smart. Now. You all say it's smart, not me. Harden, his, his battery is not there in the playoffs. Now you got this man resting. Now he got to get himself hyped back up. No, you don't. Yeah, you, you do. You just can't turn it on and off in the league. You took one game off, man. But you think going to rest him for two or three games, man. They need to. He ran out of gas last year. That's, that's why they're doing right. it. This he really ran out of gas last year. Then Tony, somebody got in his ear like, look, dude, you need to rest this guy. Sit down for, for, the, for the long haul. Yeah. Okay. So that makes all the teams that I just said, nobody's mentioned OKC. Because none of us think they're going to go to the damn good reason. That's Come why, on, man. You picking OKC? I'm not picking them. It wasn't no mistake, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 we knew they were there. We knew they were there. Bad show. We had to pay the hoops. <laughs> no. We <laughs> didn't them shit. Last show, the theme was fuck them. So you, we, we going with that? I ain't going to say fuck them. No, no, I ain't going to go that deep. No, no, no. no we ain't going to disrespect them. Like they got the biggest dog in the NBA. OKC is Westbrook. the team you really Westbrook. don't, you, you would like to avoid. If you Houston you. Golden State, somebody say it. If you Houston no, Golden State, you, you definitely respect. want to avoid them. That's but the true. sleeper team you want to avoid is Portland, man. You want to avoid Portland. I'm and, telling you. And I'm gonna say this: Utah might not win their first round. Utah is gonna stretch somebody out to six, seven games. They're gonna work you right. right now. It looks like it's Golden State, two, seven. Uh, they're gonna stretch somebody out and make them work first round. And if you come off seven games first round. And you get in the second round, you're playing a better team, like IE Portland, IE, you know, OKC right, or right. something in the second round. Like, it's a stretch to get to the Western Conference. All right, all right. It's a stretch, man. All right. So you talk gonna stretch somebody out. So yes. with all the injuries that happened to Boston, because Boston was the one that was gonna so allegedly dethrone the Cavs. Now that's all they got is Toronto that's in their face. Are they back in the championship? It, it, it's, it's not a given because honestly, I don't want Cleveland to play Philadelphia at all. I don't want them to see Philly, man. That's it. Philly is tough. Philly got inside. They got Simmons at the point. They got shooting. I mean, that's a tough team. And even even if they don't beat you, that's a team that can stretch you out. They're right? going to make you work. Right. And that's a team that and when it comes down to it by the next round, you're going to be beat up and tired, man. Especially if a plan has got to stick and be for mother of five, six games. All right. And, and, and B just got hurt, but he'll be okay for the playoffs. He'll be all right for playoffs. I am going out on the limb right now. LeBron will not make it to the finals this year. He will not come out to That's the bowl state. move. That's the bowl move. I'm going out right now. And I'm Better stick. That. In the East? I'm in the East. Better stick. Here's the reason I'm saying that. LeBron is going to be LeBron table. in Sticks the playoffs. On the table. I watched Cleveland closely, and this is why I'm making a statement. LeBron is going to be LeBron. He's going to put up monster numbers. He doesn't have Kyrie. Someone who can get his own shot and doesn't need nobody else to do it. Finish. He doesn't have that dog with him this year. All right, all it's right. gonna catch up with him. I'm telling, watching him right now. It's catching right, up with we him. Got, we got a lot of time. Too much. We can go all day in the NBA, but we got time to come back to them first. next week because the playoffs they haven't even started, man. It's coming first. to the end of the season, man. But I did kind of want to touch on some NFL right now because why is your Giants got Beckham on the block? Trade rumors uh, all over. Won't, uh, won't, uh, I can answer two this. picks, man. I can I'm not coming to you first, man. I'm going to oh, man. <laughs> lefty, lefty over here. Lefty. Speak on it, man. Why, why are they putting Thank Beckham you. on the block? Because man? he is biased. Kev is so biased when it comes to the damn Giants. But all right, I'll, I'll say this. One thing I can say, that new general manager with the Giants, he's a smart he's a smart guy. I, 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 I really like what he's doing. But the fact that uh, Beckham wants top, top dollar, He's coming off of ankle surgery, yeah. and and he's he's acting a fool off the field. Yeah. He's been causing headaches in the locker room in the past and that and other. But what they've done, I really don't think they want to trade him. But if it's a They're team not, dumb not. enough to give up two first round picks for him, you just you put a ridiculous price tag on it. That's what they did. They put a ridiculous price tag on him. Somebody would pay it. Yeah, I'll give him up for two first round picks. But you either keep him, or if somebody dumb enough to do it, you make the move. 
I mean, it's just not cool. Come on, Kev. Now, Kev, we only giving you a couple of seconds to talk about this. Let me go real quick. First of all, they're not going to trade him, first off. Yeah, they're going to put a ridiculous price tag out there. Like like you said, two first-round picks. No one does that. So they're not going to trade for a wide receiver for two first-round picks. It's quarterback-type shit talk. So they're not going to do that. Now, the owner is sick of it. Actually, Miami did for Brandon Marshall. Because he's embarrassing himself. Miami did for Brandon Marshall. He's embarrassing the organization. And the, and the owner is, frankly, sick of him. I get all that. But, and I forget, and it's my fault for not doing this, but it's two wide receivers that got paid out of his class so far. Out of his class, his draft class, that got paid so far. He's clearly better than them. So, he deserves his money. The problem is, is that he's acting a fool when the Giants might play hardball and make him Get on that field and prove he's healthy first instead of getting his money. He's drawing a line in the sand and saying, Well, he seems to be healthy. He had yeah, weddings, dancing. Right. He is healthy. But what I'm saying is, they want to see him on the field. And what he I'm saying is, right. and what I'm saying is, right. they want to see him healthy on the field first and they might play hardball and make him get on the field first. Right, he's saying, he's I'm, not clown, doing, man. I'm not doing anything until I get my money. Enough with this giant so talk. We gave you that talk gonna, last week, man. It's going to be a showdown. We're going to be a showdown. We're going to be a showdown. It's going to be a showdown this summer. The Bears. We gonna talk about the Bears. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, y'all wanna do that? that? We talk about the Bears because check it out. With the Bears, you got Mick Mitch, and now he has Mitch. the opportunity to throw the ball to Allen, Allen Robinson, Meredith, and White. They all are six three. Kevin White is Taylor Gabriel too. Her, come on, Gabriel. Come on, Kevin White is not coming back. Come on. And Meredith may not be back. Meredith may not be back. Well, not, White not be back. back. I can tell you, I'm not a Bears fan. I can tell you that White ain't coming. He back. going to camp. I'll tell you that White ain't going nowhere. He, he ain't, going, he ain't going coming KDL back. Sick White. White locked in. Eight KDL million down, sick man. White. All right, about the Bears. Uh, all right, for, the, for the Bears thing, I think Allen Robinson got a big year. I think Robinson got a big year, but the sleeper uh, signing is that uh, Taylor, Taylor Gabriel, Tyson Gabriel. The, the kid from Atlanta, the, the slot kid, the fast kid from Atlanta, I think he's going to be the he's the big pickup. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Meredith gets picked up. He, he didn't visit the three teams. He's a restricted free agent. If they somebody want to overpay him, I would let him walk. But, no, the Bears the Bears are in good shape with that receiver court. And I would not be shocked because I did not like the way Kevin White was used by John Fox and uh, that clown lo- logging down. I didn't like how they used him. If he could stay healthy, because we don't know if he can play or not. Here's the thing. He, he didn't prove it. He, didn't, he hasn't shown he can't play. He just can't stay healthy. So if this dude can stay healthy and can put up numbers, it's a good move. Who's y'all White House? Robinson and White? Robinson, Gabriel, White, Meredith. Meredith right now. So who, who's Meredith, White House? Meredith right now. And, hey, hey, don't sleep, because Dez might get cut next week. Ooh, uh, will not and we got Chicago seven picks, Bears. Ooh. and we can draft two receivers. Right, Dez exactly. will, will not be a Chicago so, Bears. Chicago Bears will never bring in Dez. Keep one. your eye on our Bears, because they're gonna do things. They're gonna do way better than the Giants. I'm not letting KBS no, speak on that really man. They're not gonna do better because we're about to go to the right 24 second excited. round. We're going to the 24 second round, man. So put your hard <laughs> hats on, man. Let's we're, do it. We're about to do it. We play each other. We play each other, by the way. Oh yeah. Sticks on the table for that game. Oh, yes, sir. So yes, check sir. it out, man. We're going to start off the 24 second, man, with a, just a curveball in here to start it off, man. If you at the crib, you come into the crib, man, and you want to throw on some music, man, are you going with trap music, R&B, or house? Me? Left. 24 seconds on the spot, Let's go. It depends on if I got a female with me or not. But typically, <laughs> if I'm going in the house to clean up, I'm going to throw on some trap. But if I got a little female with me, man, I might throw some of the Dusties or something. I'm one of them type of cats. So I throw some Temptation, Luther, something smooth on your way. So basically, he's going to come and create a baby. Cake. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Bucket. <laughs> County. Swish. County. All right, check it out, check it out. We're going to KDL, man. Trap music, R&B, house, man. You're going on the know. clock. Let's go. I don't even know why they even asking me this question. I'm going house music all day long. There's a lot of us grew up on house music when rap wasn't really all that. Trap music, fuck out here, that's down south. I'm a grown man. I'm going with house music all day long. I like me some R&B, don't get me wrong. I'm, you know, I'm that age. But house music, but my choice? House music all day long. Y'all know the business. House picnic, July 7th. Be there. Holla back. Swish. Free plug. <laughs> Free plug. <laughs>
right. Give him four point play. I, I know my man, he wasn't ready for this because he's sitting off to the side. But Rich, you got 24 seconds. Trap, R&B, and house. Uh, I'm, going, I'm going to mix you. I'm going trap, R&B, and house. I'm going to keep it renaissance. I need Uh-oh. it all. Uh-oh. <laughs> 100. Get it in. He came down from Steph Curry. He shot that from half court. He shot that from half court. Man. We ain't even coming back to him with that, man. <laughs> he, 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 he ain't passing the ball. He just shot. <laughs> shot first. All right. 20, 24 seconds on me. Let's go. All right. I'm not going with the trap. I ain't going with the r and I ain't going with the house. I'm coming in the crib, man. I'm on some chill. I'm playing me some stepping music. Because I'm stepping around the crib while I'm doing my thing, man. That's how we do three. Buckets. What if you got a 24 year old thigh? <laughs> <laughs> then, then you gotta go. You gotta go with the trap shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask the question. I'm gonna ask the question. I'm gonna ask the question. You gotta go with the trap. Because she don't know nothing about the R&B. And she ain't know nothing. Know nothing about the R&B. Right, we about, about the house. House. So you gotta go with the trap. Don't you know who's burnt? We better, we better get back into the sports, man. That was just a little throw off in 24 seconds to see if my meals was ready, man. So we're going to man. Check it out, man. What is it? Leangelo? Is that the ball brother that oh, declared for the draft? Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, no, Leangelo. Yeah. No, he right, declared right. for the draft, man. Yeah. Oh, so now you got 24 seconds to speak on it. Uh, KDL, uh, let's, let's go. go. Let me go in. First of all, that's the most ridiculous thing he's ever done in life. And who's ever behind him, which is his daddy, we all know it, is ridiculous. First of all, he's not going to get drafted. He's going to get drafted to the big three. The <laughs> fuck out of here, man. You ain't going to the NBA. You ain't ready. Fuck out of here. The big 100. Big no. 100. three? 100. Going to the big three. 100. Hey, switch. <laughs> <laughs> we go. We, we, we ain't going to take no time three. on this. We all right. Go. Lefty, you got 24 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Come across half court. Pull up for three. Fuck him. <laughs> Here it is. Fuck him. Shit's stupid. Go to the next person. Okay. <laughs> yeah, waste no time on me. Fuck him. Alright, check it out. 24 seconds on me, man. Let's go. Alright, check it out, man. He's playing over in what? Lithuania. Lithuania, man. Lithuania. And he, he scored, what, 80 some points in the game yeah, the other night? It was, a, it was a mixtape. But, man, when you look at that, man, everybody he's playing with is 5-2. Right. He, okay, granted, he hit a bunch of threes, but the dude hit about 87 dunks. Thumbs down. down. And the worst league switch. in European basketball. The ball ball exactly. paid everybody to stand still and let him do his thing. <laughs> That's what you don't know about. That's exactly what happened. All right. Now, y'all going to like this question right here, man. You got 24 seconds. Game changing NBA. People that have changed. Now, I'm only giving you three choices. Who had the biggest effect total over the game? We're going with Jordan, LeBron, Magic. Let me, mm. let's go. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. Do we end it up? Mm. But, I'm going to go, go my favorite player all time, Magic Johnson. 6'9 point guard. Uh, mm. Something that was unheard of back mm. then in, in, in the 80s. Uh, a guy that big, the handles, the court vision, mm. the whole nine. So I'm, I'm going Magic. Just that simple. Mm. That's a tough one. Tough question, huh? That's a tough one. All right. You ready? I'm on the clock? I'm on the clock yet, man. So Let's check go. it out. Lefty talked about the game. He talked about overall change in the way players, Let's go. agents, all this stuff. Let's go. Jordan, LeBron, Magic. Let's go. Much as it pains me, everybody knows I'm a Magic Johnson fan. I'm a number one Lakers fan. I got to go with Michael Jeffrey Jordan. This dude Jordan changed me. The game. This dude changed marketing. This dude changed. If you're talking overall, this dude changed marketing. This dude changed the game. This dude took the game, the NBA, to another level. I love him. Uh, Magic and Michael. Uh, excuse me, Magic and Bird. Michael, Jeff, and Jordan. They missed the foul call. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. No, my MJ, MJ, that dude. All right. Reg, I'm throwing you under the bus, baby. I'm, I'm gonna be real quick. I don't oh, need 20. Oh man, the shot clock, oh, man. I'm you sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm throwing the ball in. You got the shot clock on, man. Jordan, LeBron, Magic. Let's okay, go. all I'm gonna say is that logo. Represent. Shots and I die. Jordan. Hey, there you go. Fuck him. He got a quick release. 
And that's I'm what I'm saying. Right marketing? Now. This hey, dude changed the game. Red's got a quick release over there, man. Yeah. He coming across half court and he just shooting the ball. He changed man. the game, man. So now, I'm throwing it to the man that keeps the lights on, Rome. Jordan, LeBron, Magic. Go. You already know what it is. MJ, baby. All MJ day. all day? Yeah. Why? Yes, sir. Why? Oh, Why? Why, you want? Why you want it? Cut it out. I don't even need to go into that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to throw up the six. Right, I'm just throwing up the six on it. Right. I can respect that. Oh, I can wow. respect that. Check it out. I'm going to go way left on y'all. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 24 seconds, man. Oh, I'm come. going with LeBron. <laughs> now, oh, my God. Now, the reason I'm saying that, Mike took the game here. LeBron has come in and he has started. He's basically his own agent. He's on agent. He started the game. He ain't yeah, signing them long sign. deals and all that. He's uh, signing two years max. Two years max, and he's up. He's not letting the agents. And he's going to Philly. He's not. Switch. Philly. Hey, listen, real talk. I don't hate on LeBron as a businessman. That dude on this shit. He's a businessman. He's teaching all these young cats. He, they signing two years with a one-year opt-out. Yep. Like Brian making them, you know what I mean? Like I, I don't hate him. And social, social activeness. He, he's speaking on shit. Like I, hey, nothing but love on that. That dude Change is now. a real deal. Change when it comes to what you want, man. No sir. Check it out. It has been but, another. Hold on, Red. You got something else to say? You got something else to say, Red? I'm just saying. Put bro. it out there. Mike transcended the game. LeBron ain't never transcended the game. Mike took the game to a new level. The actual basketball game. All right. The actual man. game. This has been another. another Another great episode of Humidor Shop Talk Podcast. Speaking man. of levels. Speaking of levels. Speaking of levels. Where we going, baby? Let's get it. Shout out to all the smoke, yeah. the smoke crews, man. Shout out to all the cigar shops and everybody else. Yeah. Humidor Shop Talk. We back April 7th to test us. Yeah. Come check us out, man. It's going to be another great show. Come check us out. Stuff. April 7th. Keep us we'll smoking. Come check us out. We're we'll keeping the ash. Venus oh, versus Mars. The whole nine. Come the check Roman us out. Castle. Yes, sir. Pump with us. Smoke fellas in the field. Yeah. 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 I'm on a new level. Oh, I'm on a new we got a 24 year old pad over here. You better fit a trap music for her, man. You ain't got no choice. She ain't gonna know about the, about the RB. She has no idea what the house is. You better fit a trap music for her.